For the first method, head over to search and then type in edit power plan. Click on it. And then you wanna click on power options right here. You then wanna select a plan which is high performance. So in my case, I'll have to click on the arrow and then I'll click on high performance. If you don't see it, then click on here, create a power plan. And then you should hopefully have high performance. And then you wanna just follow the steps and just create it. If you don't have high performance, then just stay on balanced. For the second method, head over to search and then type in task manager and then click on it. Once you're on it, we're gonna head over to startup apps. And then you wanna turn off all the apps that you don't want at startup. So for example, I don't want Logitech G Hub to start up when I start my computer. So I'm gonna click on it and then click on disable. Next, we're gonna head over to processes. Once you're on it, you wanna click on CPU so that all of the tasks that are taking up the most CPU usage are gonna appear first. Then you wanna scroll down and then disable whatever's taking up a lot of CPU usage that you don't actually need. The way to disable it is you just click on it and then you click on end task. But for example, like let's say that you wanna end task on a service host, you're gonna get some error like this. If you get an error like this, you wanna always click on cancel. You never wanna disable something like that, but just disable anything that you don't need. For the third method, head over to search and then type in add or remove programs, click on it. Once you're on it, if you think that an app is causing this high CPU usage and you could just delete it. So the way to delete it is by clicking on the three dots and then click on uninstall and just follow the steps. For the fourth method, head over to search and then type in settings and then click on it. Once we're on it, we're gonna scroll down to additional settings and then you can turn off get tips and suggestions when using Windows. You could also turn off any application notifications that you're getting and that you don't really need, so you could just turn that off. If you want to go one step further, you could also turn off all of the notifications. For the fifth method, head over to search and then type in services and then click on it. Once you're on it, you wanna click on background intelligent transfer service. Then you wanna change the startup type to disabled and then click on okay. For the sixth method, if nothing is working, then head over to search and then type in reset this PC, click on it, and then you want to follow all these steps. So we're going to reset the PC and just follow all of these steps. You can just remove everything, local reinstall, and then you can just clean the whole drive. So you can click on yes, all drives, just remove everything, redownload Windows, confirm, and then just follow all of these other steps and just reset your whole computer. If there's still a problem with the CPU, then I recommend just upgrading the computer because it could be a problem with your specs. 